I'm gonna show you how to install an RO filter. So today I get an upgrade on my grow tent here. For a month now, I've been getting my water from the store. I've been going and filling up bottles, filling up a cooler, and bringing those water and cooler water all the way back here. But that stops today. Because I got this cheap RO, this is a four stage RO filter for under the sink and whatnot. I'm gonna hook it up to my water here and have it go into my buckets. And So no more going to the store and wasting hours transferring and transferring, because that was stupid. First thing you gotta do is find your main water or find a water line next to you. I have a water line that goes right here. You might not be able to see it very well, but it goes right there, right above where that ceiling tile is. Now my goal is to make this as easy as possible for anyone to do. So I just got some shark bites and you just cut the pipe and these push on, super simple. Same for uh, the hose bib. You're gonna go to Home Depot and find the plumbing aisle. And then you're gonna find the shark bite section. There's gonna be two different sizes you're looking for, three quarters and a half inch. Your pipe could be either size. I'm going from three quarter to a half inch. And then I'm gonna get a half inch hose bib. And that's the part your garden hose fitting fits onto. I usually solder all my pipes just because I feel like it's a better option. But this is a quick option and it's in an area overhead where I can easily access the shark bite. Next, it's cheaper to get a long pipe of copper, but these are nice and simple. It's only three feet long and it's a little more expensive, but it's easy. And then you don't have to come over here and buy one of these 10 footers, especially if you're not gonna use it anytime soon. First thing I need to do is remove this ceiling tile. So I'm gonna take the screw out of this handle right here. That's gonna drop off and I can move this. I had to take this ceiling tile out, move this bar over to get it around the, and that shut off. But this is my, my line right here. And it's, it actually looks like it's wrapped in like sandpaper. I don't know why, I've never personally seen this. Okay, so here's my pipe. I cleaned off some of that stuff. Now I need to sand this clean. And I'm just gonna use some 150 grit. Okay, I got that pipe all shiny. You see there's no more gunk or green or anything else on there, it's clean. Clean means a good seal. We're gonna go over to your water shutoff valve and you're gonna turn it off. When I cut this pipe, this pipe is going to go into about this line, it's an inch and a quarter into this fitting. So when you hold this up, you're going to cut it right here on this pipe and then right over here on that pipe. I'm going to use this adjustable pipe cutter, get them from Home Depot. Don't forget to have a bucket of some sort to catch the water. I just went outside and I opened up the spigot, released some pressure to get a little bit of water out. Next, take this pipe cutter, you're going to slightly twist it so it's tight, turn it around like three, four times, twist it a little bit more. Turn it around until it cuts. The water comes out into your bucket. Don't remove bucket till it's done dripping. I'm gonna hold this fitting up here where it's like right in the end of that pipe and it's right in the middle of this piece right here. Come over here, I'm gonna mark this pipe right in the middle of that one. And you see right here, I marked it with a knife. I'm gonna put that cutter right there. Next, you're gonna take your knife or deburr tool and you're gonna scrape the inside lip of this, get any kind of ridges and get any of the burrs out. Next, we're gonna push the fitting in. All you gotta do is push this in as far as it can go. It should go an inch and a quarter. You will feel it stop when it hits the way. Now I have to push this pipe back to push it in here and then back in that way. Next, my hose bib is also a half inch. So I'm going from a three quarter inch to a half inch. And I did that right here. These are three quarters, three quarters and a half inch. And I got some half inch pipe here that I need to cut a little bit off. Next, we're gonna sandpaper this, get this clean. Now that is clean. I'm gonna shove it into here. It's gonna go in an inch. Next, the hose bib is gonna go right on top of here. Just push on. Okay, that's the hose fitting. This goes on this end right here. Just screws on there. It's got a rubber gasket in to keep from leaking. The other hose goes in here. You take the clip off, push the hose in, and put this blue clip back on. Once you got that on, all you gotta do is screw it back on here. Next, I'm gonna run my water pipe on top of these ceiling tiles over here. I'm gonna cut a little slit over here, have it come down over here somewhere. You already know what time it is. Next, we're gonna mount the water filter. I have a stud right here. Next one's gonna be about 16, eight inches over. I know where it is just because I can see it. But it's gonna be right in here. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna mark this with a pencil or a knife where those two brackets are and screw right in the middle of that stud. Okay, my stud's right here where this line is. And if you can't see it, there's a mark right there for the bottom bracket. And there's a mark right here for the top bracket.
Okay, so I missed both those holes. There's no stud on either of those. I got my microphone here. It's got a magnet on the back. So I'm gonna use that trick to find where it's at, hopefully. And I was close, apparently. And then it's just gonna push into those clips onto the wall. Next, I'm gonna cut the supply line. Get a little bit of slack where it's got here. I'm gonna put a shutoff valve right in the middle, right in here. Uh, and you're gonna push, cut this with the included razor blade. Push this into here, just like the other one. Now, if you didn't know, every RO system has a wastewater and a filtered water. The filter water goes to whatever you're gonna drink or go to your plants or whatever, like I am. Uh, the wastewater, you can toss it outside or a lot of people put it right in the drain. So I need this hose to be long enough to put it into a bucket over here. And I need this line as long as I can, that way I can run it to my hydroponics. Next, we're gonna flush the carbon filter right here. We're gonna take both these lines, put them both in a bucket. And then you're gonna run this for five minutes or until the water is clear. But before you do that, you need to turn the water on, and make sure nothing's leaking. Now we're slowly gonna turn the water back on and see if this leaks at all. Good news, no leaks. Next, to see if the rest of this leaks, I'm gonna turn this on. Now we're gonna put both these hoses in the bucket, turn on that shut off. And that's gonna clean this gunk out of here a little bit. Next, we're gonna install the RO membrane, which goes inside this white canister. Using this wrench, take the top off, slide this down in there. Take the cap off. This is gonna push around the top. This black rubber thing right here goes on the top. And we want this go down even with this, so it's still gotta go down some more. Now it's even. Now to put the cap back on, put the hose back on, and then we're gonna let that run for 30 minutes or until the water comes out clear. Next, turn the supply back off and I'm installing the deionized filter. It's gonna go right here in this clip. I gotta cut this hose short to go right in the bottom of this. And then this other, this hose is gonna come out the top of this. And of course I didn't leave enough, so I gotta cut or pull this out and I gotta make a hose longer and move this up a little bit. That way I can bend the hose over and up. And that's it, all set up. A bucket for the wastewater and then a bucket for the clean water. And no more getting eight to 32 gallons from the store.